Decaron revolutionary Decaflex armored cables are taking the industry by storm. Featuring tightly corrugated stainless steel armor, Decaflex armored cable provides exceptional protection without sacrificing flexibility. In partnership with American Connectors, Decaron has developed a line of connectors designed to interface with this unique armor. Call or visit your website today to find out more. I'm Robert Finley for Decron Wire and Cable, and today we will be showing you the installation process for Decron's Decaflex connectors. Prior to any connector installation, the cable should be installed in the appropriate location, allowing for enough length to make the required connections at the termination points. Unlike other armors, Decaflex cables do not require additional loops to be added to facilitate future reterminations, though an additional length of cable should be allotted for the termination process. The end of the cable should be wiped clean using a clean rag or cloth. Dirt oil or other contaminants could prevent the cable from being sealed thoroughly, which could result in an unsafe cable installation. Additionally, if any damage has occurred to the end of the cable during the cable's installation, the damaged section should be removed prior to connector installation. Once wiped clean, the cable's outer jacket should be marked at the desired location on the cable connector. Both the length of the connector and the length of your cable leads should be taken in consideration when making this mark. Decron recommends the use of the following tools for termination of Decaflex cables. Two wrenches in the applicable size, tubing cutters with half inch diameter cutting wheel, wire strippers, wire cutters, razor knife, 3 8 inch flathead screwdriver, electrical tape, sealant applicator gun. Suitable alternatives to these tools are acceptable so long as they do not cause damage to the cable and allow for secure connector installation. Decaflex cable is extremely flexible, very strong, and highly resistant to fatigue. As such, Decaflex cables are not easily deformed. Unlike most other armored cables, Decaflex cable will try to return to a straight position when it is able to. Take care when bending, installing, and uninstalling Decaflex cables as the cable could spring back once it is no longer secured, causing injury or equipment damage. With the connector still assembled, the hub should be installed into the enclosure. Insert the hub into the enclosure and tighten by hand. Once the hub is hand tight, use a wrench placed around the connector barrel nut to tighten the hub into the enclosure. When the hub is tight, place a second wrench around the hub nut and loosen it. Once loose, the connector's barrel can be removed from the hub and the installation process can continue. After determining and marking the required length of conductors needed inside the enclosure and taking into account the length of the connector, a tubing cutter with a half inch diameter cutting wheel or larger should be used to cut through the outer jacket and Decaflex armor. Once cut, the Decaflex armor can be removed, exposing the cable's core. In order for the connector to interface fully with the Decaflex armor, a portion of the outer jacket should be removed. Using a cutting tool such as tubing cutters or a razor knife, remove the appropriate length of outer jacket. While removing the outer jacket, if too much armor was exposed, simply cut away a small portion of the armor to correct the issue. If too little armor was exposed, remove more of the outer jacket. Removing an excessive length of the outer jacket is not recommended and should be avoided. To prevent gases from passing through or along the length of the cable in an emergency situation, the conductors need to be sealed off fully. 
Remove all but a half inch measured from the end of the armor of the cable cores jacket and binders. To keep the conductors bunched and aid with connector installation, wrap the loose ends of the conductors in electrical tape. Remove the sealing grommet and sealing grommet nut from the connector's barrel, then slide them over the cable core and Decaflex armor onto the cable's outer jacket. Make sure to slide the nut on first in the correct orientation, and then the sealing grommet itself. Begin by sliding the connector over the cable's core. Once reaching the exposed armor, rotate the connector by hand while applying gentle pressure. Continue rotating the connector in this manner until it is hand tight. Move the sealing grommet into contact with the connector's barrel followed by the grommet nut. Tighten the grommet nut until it is hand tight. Now the nut can be tightened using a wrench. Make sure any rotation is limited to the grommet nut and not the connector's barrel. Rotating the barrel could loosen the connector from the armor, resulting in a weak connection or faulty seal. Over tightening should be avoided. Once the connector is assembled, Weave the damming fiber between the conductors and wedge it into the connector's barrel using a non-metallic object. The damming fiber will prevent the sealant from flowing into the enclosure and will lessen the amount of sealant needed to fully seal the connector. Prepare the sealant applicator gun by installing the sealant tube and removing the protective cover from the end of the tube. Gently squeeze the applicator gun's triggers until both compounds flow evenly from the end of the tubes. When both compounds flow evenly, the self-mixing applicator tip can be installed. If sealant is to be applied via inspection ports, they should be removed at this point by using a flat head screwdriver. Now place the self-mixing applicator tip in the inspection port or the end of the barrel and inject the sealant into the connector until the cavity is filled. Allow a few seconds for the sealant to fill the voids in the cable and add more sealant as needed. Once completely filled, the inspection port cover should be replaced if they were previously removed. The sealant will fully cure in approximately 24 hours. The cable is now ready to be attached to the hub and enclosure. Begin by threading the conductors through the hub and into the enclosure. Once the hub nut is hand tight, place a wrench on the hub nut and on the barrel nut. Fully tighten the hub nut to the connector in this fashion. This completes the Decaflex connector installation.